Today, I'm going to walk you step by step on how to make a YouTube banner for your YouTube channel using Photoshop. It's going to be very easy and very quick. Let's get right into this tutorial. First thing you're going to need to do is download this template file. The link is in the description. It's a free download, no email address required. This template file is going to give you the exact dimensions that you're going to need for your banner. We're going to be mainly focused on this color area right here in the middle. Most of the content area and any of the text that we're going to use on our banner is going to be centered in this area. For my design today, I want to split this in three equal parts. In order to split my template up, I'm going to come up here to view, new guide layout, and I'm going to have columns checked and three for the number of columns that I want to create and say OK. For the content for my design, I went to unsplash.com and I got three images. And since I do tutorials and photography, that's kind of the theme of the images I chose. So I want to start from the left side and create a new layer. And then I'm going to use my marquee tool. And on that new blank layer, I'm going to create a rectangle. This is the first box that I created when I added my new guides. And I'm going to fill it with a color. You can use any color. I'm going to use black in this case. I'm going to come up here to edit, fill, and choose black. I'm going to deselect that. Command D. I'm going to name this layer left side. I'm going to repeat this again. Create a new layer. Use my marquee tool and select this middle rectangle. I'm going to come up here to edit, fill, and select white. You can use any color you want. Deselect that, Command D. I'm going to add another blank layer. Again, I'm going to use my marquee tool and come over here and select the last rectangle. And I'm going to fill that with gray. Edit, fill, 50% gray. Say OK. Command D to deselect. So now I have these three areas that I'm going to use for my content. Let me name these layers so I don't confuse myself. Center, right side. With our left side layer selected, I'm going to bring this image into my banner. B for the move tool, and I'm going to hold down shift, and I'm going to drag it up to my template. And there I have it. The first thing I'm going to do is create a smart object. I'm going to name this left image. And then I'm going to right click on that left image and say convert to smart object. We're going to be resizing that image and moving it around so we don't want to lose any image quality. That's why we make the smart object. Next, with the image selected, I'm going to hit Alt or Option, and the arrow tells me that I'm going to clip that to the image below. I'm going to press Shift and select the layer below and say Command G, and those are grouped together. This is my left group. I'm going to hit Command or Control T and zero. It's a big image, so now I can see the handles and I can bring them down, making sure, of course, that this chain at the top of the toolbar is clicked to maintain aspect ratio. And I can click the check mark to commit the changes. Notice that I'm only interested in this small portion of the image on the left side here. So now I'm going to repeat the same thing for the next two sections. I've got the center layer selected. I'm going to get my image. Here's the image I'm going to use on the center. V for the move tool, hold my shift key down, and drag it up to my banner, drop it in. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to call this later center image and right click and say convert to smart object. I'm going to hold alt or option and clip it to the center layer below. Notice what happened was that image, it went within the bounds of that layer below, which is the rectangle we drew. It's good that we don't have to do any masking. And with the help of layers and clipping masks, that's how we did it. So now with my center image, I say Command T zero, grab the handles, bring it down and size it and position it to the area that I want to use. So now that I have the center image positioned to the area I want to use, I can click on the check mark to commit the changes. 
and press shift and click on the center layer. They command G, that is my center group. Now I'm gonna do the same thing on the right side. I'm gonna get my last image. This is my image for the right side. Press V for the move tool, hold down shift and drag it up to my banner. Let go. I'm going to rename this right image. I'm gonna hold alt or option and clip it to the layer below. Hold shift and click on the right side layer below. The command G and call this right group. And now I'm gonna go back to my right image. Say command T zero. I see my handles. So I'm gonna position this in an area where I like. Hit the check mark to commit. So creating all these groups helps us stay organized. If you're getting value out of this so far, hit that like button. Next thing would be to check your images. Like in this case, I have three different images. They're from different shoots. So the image on the right, I think I'll want to add some contrast and make some minor adjustments. So in the right group, I can add a levels adjustment and I want to click on this icon right here, which is going to clip it to the layers below. I only want this to affect camera image. So if I want to add a little bit of contrast to this, just move these around a little bit to see what you like. And for the center group, I think I want to add some more saturation. So I'm going to come down here to the hue and saturation adjustment layer. Click on the icon to clip it to the layers below. And I can add a little bit more color to it. I'm going to add another levels adjustment, clip it to the layers below. Maybe move the midpoint on this one here and make it a little bit more brighter in the midtones. And come down to the left group. Let's add another levels adjustment layer. Clip it to the layers below and just brighten it up a little bit like that. So that's another reason to have the layers grouped together like that. So all the adjustments to each of these sections is all in one area. Let's add some text to our banner. So if I turn off these groups, the right group, left group, and then right here in the center, if I turn that off, you see that is a safe area for logo and text. So that's where I'm gonna put my text, right in the center group. So in the center group, I have my top layer selected. I'm gonna click on the horizontal type tool. I'm gonna to type in my text. I want this text to be white. And I'm gonna use Bebas Kai font regular. Type in, and I want a dot in between that. So that is option eight. Keep on adding my text here. I'm gonna reduce my font here to something like that and continue and click check mark to commit that. And I'm gonna use my move tool here just to move it over a little bit just for now. I'm gonna add some more text. I'm going to add my name. I'm gonna add your channel name. Let's make it a little bit larger. I'm gonna use the same font, position it. I'm gonna change the color of that font to this blue, something like that. Now I think I'll add a rectangle, something like this and make that black and bring everything above the rectangle, all my text. So now my text on my banner, I'm gonna make sure I save this and now it's time to export it out to my computer and I'm going to export as a PNG. You can use a JPEG if you want. These are the exact image size that the template is. I'm gonna export it out to my computer and then we're gonna go over to YouTube and change my YouTube banner. Here is the banner that I have on my channel currently. I click on my avatar right here. Go to YouTube Studio, click on customization, go to branding and come down here to banner image. Click on change, navigate to where my banner is on my computer and it gives you an idea of how it's gonna look where it's going to be viewable. Say done. I will click publish and it says my changes are published. View my channel and there is my channel with my new banner. If you want to know more about Photoshop, click or tap on one of the videos on the screen right now. If you haven't already, subscribe, like, and share this video. And remember, it's never too late to learn. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.